Well, here at the Keegan Fillion Farm in Walterboro, they've actually had to change their customer base since COVID-19 began. We're a pastured uh, pork poultry operation. We do some grass-fed beef. Uh, we raise about 450 head of hogs a year and about 15,000 free-range chickens. New piglets are arriving all the time, like these nine that were born on Mother's Day yesterday. We've been in the farming business for over 30 years. In the beginning, they sold mainly to retail customers, but eventually restaurants became a large portion of their business. Over the years, our business has grown, and we are 80 percent of our business was the uh, restaurants before the pandemic hit. Now. Families are buying from us and realizing there's a big difference between pastured meats and uh, confinement raised. I come here for all, just about all my meat. People like Cindy Rossi like to eat food raised just a few miles from her home. Well, the food here is delicious. I, I like knowing where my food has come from. And they have some of the very best pork and, and chicken and beef I've ever tasted. And the eggs are out of this world. They're really good. Well, when the restaurants closed, we had about 225 or 250 hogs on the ground. And we had uh, 4,000 or so chickens. When we backed out the amount of business we got from the restaurants, we actually had one year's worth of chicken and four years worth of hogs if we went by just what we sold to the markets. They were worried about where they might be able to sell that meat. And all of a sudden, about two or three days after the restaurants closed, the phones lit up with families wanting meat. Restaurants are now reopening, which means it may soon be difficult to fill all of his restaurant orders. So it slowed things down a little bit, but it's definitely uh, helped us get through this. And I think it's going to be something we'll be able to continue into the future. They are continuing to process animals weekly and meeting the needs of their current customers while looking for new customers, of course, at the same time. In Walterboro, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.